Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be taking a look at the 12-inch Count Dooku from Hasbro. This guy is really cool, but before we take a closer look at him, let's go ahead and take a look at his packaging. So here it is. It's the standard packaging for the 12-inch figures released, you know, around episode, the time Episode 2 came out. It's got a picture of the uh, arena on Geonosis in the background there, and a picture of Count Dooku from the movie here. And on this side, nothing really. On the back here, it's got another picture of Count Dooku, the other figures that were released in this wave, and a brief description. Uh, if you'd like to read that, you can just pause the video. Um, that's pretty basic for packaging for this guy, so let's go ahead and get back to the figure itself. Here he is, he stands, let's see here, about 11 and a half inches tall, so he's right in scale with a 1 6 scale 12 inch figure. Uh, he, won't, he won't look too short or anything. And he does come with one accessory here, and that is his lightsaber. Really, really well done uh, handle here. Nice paintwork and a nice translucent red blade. And just since we've got the ruler here, uh, it looks like it's about 8 inches long like that. So, pretty good size accessory for Count Dooku. As far as the figure itself goes, it is a really, really good looking figure. Uh, as far as I'm aware, this is the only 1-6 scale Count Dooku figure that's out there, and I think Hasbro did a really great job. So here's the face sculpt here. It just looks great. Um, they did do some dry brushing in the hair to give it a little bit of variation. Uh, there's a lot of sculpt work in the face and in the beard. I think it just looks great. And as far as the outfit goes, his costume, they did a really nice job. If you can see, they did all this decorative stitching here. It fits over his shoulders. Um, I'll talk about these here in a second. It's got some, uh, even got some stitches here to hold the cloak so that it lays properly. Uh, his belt. It's either done in a marbled plastic or they did a wash of black over the brown, so it just looks great. Uh, so, I mean, this figure just looks awesome. And considering that it was only like 20 bucks when it came out, maybe 15, 20, I think that they did, uh, they gave you a lot for your money here. Uh, as far as these little holes here in his, in his cape, I, this is the only complaint I have about this figure. Um, for some reason, Hasbro thought it would be a good idea to run the twisty ties that hold him in the packaging through his cape so that whenever he's in the package he can look like this and have his cape over his shoulders. Well, the problem with that is it leaves these, you know, six holes in his cape when you get him out. So I wish they could have done something else there. That's the only complaint I have about this figure that's, you know, an actual complaint, not just an observation. Um, one other thing that I, I kind of dislike, it's not a huge deal, is this little snap here. You can unsnap it, um, and it comes undone kind of easily whenever you start posing it. It's not a huge deal. If it bothers you a whole lot, you could just put a little bit of super glue in there to hold it. Uh, not a huge deal. Um, as far as articulation goes as well, it is really well done. He's got a swivel at the base of his neck, and then on below that there is a ball peg that gives the rest of the range of motion there, so you can get a lot of dynamic posing done with that, and it looks really nice. He's got ball hinge shoulders. You can see they're just unpopped. Let's see, he's got ball hinge shoulders. They do swivel. Now, they would swivel 360, but obviously his clothing gets in the way. He's got single jointed elbows. And do they swivel? No, they do not. No bicep swivel either. He's got ball hinged wrists here that do swivel. And hinged points her finger, and then the other three fingers are hinged, which is nice. He can actually hold his accessories, which is, or his accessory, I guess, which is nice. He's got, let's see, a swivel waist, T jointed hips, go forward, back everywhere you'd want to go. Let's see, no thighs, or no, th yeah, no thigh swivel, single jointed hip, uh, and then they do swivel at the ankle, and I think he's got a hinge there. 
uh, but you're not going to get a whole lot of use out of it because the boots are, are a kind of a thick rubber. So I would recommend this figure 100%. Um, you know, I think he looks great on a shelf. He is literally the only option you have for a 1-6 scale Count Dooku that I'm aware of. Um, if you don't like the figure's articulation, you could probably buy, you know, like a, a blank, like a sideshow Hot Toys body and uh, put the outfit that he's wearing here and his head onto that body um, because I think they did a great job uh, with the figure's costume. But overall, I would say that this guy, even with his, in some cases, limited articulation, is 100% worth it. So... I definitely suggest picking him up if you find him uh, at a good price. So if you have any comments or questions on the figure, please leave them down in the comments section below, and I guess I'll see you later.